Blaster was still really good in Brawl. Very yeah. uh, reminiscent of how good his Blaster is in this game. <laughs> but his uh, he, he definitely got a lot of buffs in some of his moves. Definitely, like, a lot of his aerials, like Fair, mm -hmm. Nair, like, oh, they're so much better. I, Pretty much all of his aerials where, in his where, combo Where would game. you fit Wolf? I fit, him top, I fit him up top five. I don't know where you play In him. this game? Yeah. Uh, I, I have him as, like, top five, bottom of okay. top five. Yeah. Oh, all right. So I'm 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 I'm, che I'm back checking with you here because you're the top commentator here in SoCal. You you run the streets. I trying to make sure I'm, I'm running the same streets you are. Yeah, I put him at the bottom of top five. Um, yeah, like the uh, boy just came out with a tier list on his YouTube, and for the most part, I agree with most of the stuff um, that's on his tier list. Um, some things I would like swap around in high tier, but yeah, for the most part, he has I think his top five in order from one to five is Olimar. Peach. Who's three? Lucina, maybe? No, Lucina six. Oh, dang. All right. All Omar, Peach. Uh, Pichu? Pichu's four. Wolf is five. How old Hayda? No. Dang, how am I not remembering <laughs> this? Obviously, like, it's got to be like a super busted character. Pikachu? I don't know. No, not Pika. I, I'm, I'm going to look this up because it's kind of like irritating me. All right, well, but we're, well, you know well, what? Well, we're, we're starting with the match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, while you look at it, let me go ahead and start you off. This is Kevin H. Uh, Kevin H. has been coming out to the game and coming to MSM a little bit while, WNF. Uh, he first started coming out to WNF and then transitioned on, but immediately Kevin H., uh, not not much of a slacker. He's actually been, been a bit of a 2 2 3 2 warrior, so he hasn't put in work with his character. I like the fact that he is using Zares because he knows how Wolf's recovery is. Solid space in there because you remember, if you're going to try to edge guard that Wolf Flash, doesn't auto snap the ledge, but if you're too close to it, you will get sweet spotted. It's Inkling. Inkling. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so Olimar, Olimar, Peach, Inkling, Pichu, Wolf. Okay. That is also my Lucina top, top five. Lucina six? Yeah, Lucina six. Yeah. Okay. I can respect that. I can respect that. Inkling maybe is like a, a shaky one for me, but I'll have to see. Yeah, definitely lacking of top tier representative or top like player representative. But the character's got some stuff. Yeah. Oh, yes. And like even like Cosmo still does really well with the character. All right, All right, so. Good DI coming up from Naga, still surviving. I mentioned earlier, right, doesn't auto snap the ledge, so Kevin H can make sure he has the Zarya in play. Wow. Dash attack, man, watch the recovery. Yeah. Wow. And the uh, dash attack, now a usable move in uh, Smash 4, definitely a meme. <laughs> never wanted to ever, like, that's Luigi's never meant to do that move. Yeah. And Pretty much, like, unusable. That's, how, that's why it hurts, too. It's, it's not only was it a meme, but now it's a meme that works. Oh, so Naga's waiting for the scratch. Trying to scratch the post, get that stock, that downward angled forward tilt. So good at two framing, catching recoveries, oh. but sometimes you just gotta whip out the up beat. Yeah. You gotta get him when they least expect it, man. You gotta get him when they least expect it, and that's when it hurts the most. Last year, close range, Ooh. you will face the bayonet. W and it combos into the shot as well, feeling a hefty 16% here for Malgus. But offstage here, where Wolf suffers, right now Kevin H trying to apply this ledge pressure, this offstage pressure, but Malgus getting back on the stage. I like it from Kevin H, kind of slowly working up to Malgus. The one thing for Malgus too, oh no, yeah, he, went little, he was a little too low. But it's still good for Kevin H because he makes sure he always has there. So if he does go low after the hitbox is the last, or if he goes for a side B, he will make sure that that there, that little plunger is out there. Oh, so he has a low recovery covered. So okay. for Malgus, I feel like he has to start understanding, like if he has low recovery covered, I should be aiming for a possible high recovery, but with like, a stage like, Smashville, you gotta be careful. There's a car <laughs> scratcher down smash. Wow. Keep, keep the car and the key to success here. Yeah, Kevin H definitely went for that double jump uh, side B right there. Tried the missile right into him, but Malgus had nothing to do with it. The disjoints on the claw helping him in that situation. Solid. I like it. Use the blaster play. You want your opponent to make sure they're gonna give you some shield and enough time to get back center stage. Yeah, Malgus is keeping up this juggle, and of course the blasters will try and catch the landing oh. as well. Wow, forward smash only almost ended his soul right here, and the charge on the down smash. Wow. <laughs> he waited. He really waited. But it's good. For, it's, it's so hard to time it too, especially against Luigi, because their aerial drift is not the greatest still. So they go so slow, especially from Green Tornado. Oh, dash attack. Oh, no punish though. It can be pretty hard to punish that move on Costa, to be fair. Yeah. Because Wolf just gets in so so far. Oh, right there, but wow. Malik is able to spot dodge that up smash. Yeah, once again, slow recovery here for Kevin. Aware of the down smash, make sure he doesn't get too green. How big is that hitbox, man? It is so powerful. Like The blaster? Yeah, no, oh. the down smash. Oh, it's it's pretty big. Yeah. It's it's a lot taller than people think. 
Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, he's, he just he's, he's missed good, it. He's good, he's good, he's good. Oh, man, and you got to watch out for that back throw, too. Luigi back throw is actually stronger in this game. Yeah. Oh, oh wait for the landing beat. here. You have the right play, back throw. Not going to be the kill off stage. Sets the fireball. Malgus has to commit low here. Good opportunity to go for the backer. And the, man, he had enough time. Yeah. Malgus had enough time. He, he, he went for the one, the one back. You had enough time to go for an aerial. Probably even move yourself towards the middle platform. Right, right. And yeah, Malgus was just chilling, trying to be patient. And Kevin H was like, I ain't going to give you the space. I ain't going to give you the time. Yeah. Here's this up smash. Hold this L. So Kevin looks H like there with the win. Yep, coming into game at number two here, Malgus. Um, I, I'm assuming he's going to stay Wolf because uh, Luigi kind of has a lot of fun with these big, heavy characters. So I definitely wouldn't want to be a heavy character against Luigi. So going to stick with the Wolf here. I do think Wolf does win, uh, win this matchup. So Yeah. Damn, he just, like, whipped out two grabs. Oh, this is big. 73% already off the grab. Yeah, and he, he kind of ended it off with a Nair there. I feel like that might have been a buffer buffer system there. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, yeah, so much damage already tacked on the Malgus on this first stock. And he's got to win this game to keep himself in this set. So not the uh, most motivating way to start this oh. game number two. Good opportunity for Malgus, though. If he sees the wind back, go for the get-up attack. If your opponent's going to show you the back, you have a way to come back on stage. Always know, always know you got five options. No one, each one's in play. Good parry, no punish on the forward tilt. Malgus with some spacing here. Tries to go for dash tag. I feel like he got too comfortable last game with how he was able to cross up, and right. he went for the dash tag, and that was a little bit too risky. Yeah, yeah. yeah now Malgus uh, can't be taking too many risks, or he's got, he's got to be very calculated risks, because 140% here, he could die to almost anything here in Luigi's arsenal. Okay, there's the dash attack. Going to try to catch the landing with the up tilt, but Malgus just facing the wrong way. And all this shield pressure, that up tilt is so nasty. It's so good. All right, Malgus, patience. I I do and don't like the fact that Malgus doesn't go off stage to try to at least hit him with Nair. But I also respect that he's trying to respect green missile because it can hit you and you can get a misfire and it can pay off really poorly. Right, right. I mean, it's, it is definitely the safe play, but... Yeah, I mean, Luigi is definitely a recovery that you, sometimes you just got to go out there and hit. That, that missile is pretty free. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. But with the rage, I don't know if he can get a zero death. But oh, no. he can for sure get a lot of damage here. 48% here. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, this plunger doing mad work. And Malgus not expecting that second plunger. Maybe eating a double jump of some sorts or just kind of tripping him up. Oh, this is big damage. That, that zero death not going to work with so much rage on Luigi. Oh, but the dash attack, yeah. That uh, I'm pretty sure that fireball was probably, he wanted to shoot it to the left there, but Malgus will definitely take advantage of that, hit that dash attack, and get that first dog. Yeah, and it's good the fact that we saw, we keep, like I mentioned it earlier, right, all the sweet spot, I mentioned it earlier, right, you got to be careful when you try to edge guard wolf like that, especially if you go for the wolf flash. It's an auto snap ledge, but the sweet spot may be the one thing that kills you. Back. I respect the upper, but back would have been a great move. He's spacing. The one thing I don't see for Kevin H2, if he's looking for grabs, oh, that's Ooh. good. He took a page out of Elegant, and he made it his own. Yeah, the Sour Nair into the aerial up B there, the super jump punch, and, of course, Luigi's one being a very potent kill move if you get the sweet spot right next to him. Mm -hmm. So really good setup there from Kevin H2.